Yo, what's good, people? It's your boy, the Kryptonian Saiyan, bringing you a review for One Piece, chapter 125, and Usopp, Maru. I see what uh, I believe it was. I'm going to edit it out. And I thought that was funny because he said, I'm going to edit it out. And then like that's his name. And then one of you guys was like, I'm going to edit it out. You never edit anything out. I, I read the comments, man. You guys are really entertaining. But, you know, I'm going to edit it out. You know, he was saying, like, don't underestimate Usopp. He said it last week. And I believe it was, like, last Wednesday. But he was like, don't underestimate Usopp. Usopp's pretty smart, too. You see it in this chapter, man. You see it. I, I love this. So Usopp has to tell Luffy, like, look, man, we can still save these guys because heat melts wax and it's like dude we can do this we can save them that mist is actually uh wax and i i like all this oh, oh that mist is heat like i forgot which one it was but the thing is is when uh mr three pops up in this enormous suit that tony stark would be fucking jealous of you know like tony like that was nice man and another batman reference but if you go back and you look at uh batman the dark knight returns that suit really reminds me of the, the bat suit, the armored bat suit that Batman fought Superman in. So that, it really reminded me of that, man. If you just look at those pictures side by side, it's very similar. But the thing is, is when Miss Golden Week, you know, paints onto it, you know, it's getting hot and Luffy's attacks are not really having any, you know, uh, effect on it, right? And Luffy, you know, he's using the gum gum. Uh, bazooka using the gum gum stamp nothing's really working at this point i'm going damn okay they got 30 seconds there's no way in hell luffy's gonna finish this unless he one shots me if he one shots him, i'm gonna be fucking pissed that wasn't what happened that wasn't what happened at all and usopp is very clever Us this is usopp's chapter man what Usopp does is very clever he, he tries to use the flame the the the, the exploding star right and that's when Mr. Three's like, dude, I just told you, this is useless. And he uses the freeze breath bomb on him, right? And Usopp is just taken out, but Karu's got this uh, rope wrapped around, right? And Usopp says, Luffy, it's been soaked in oil. And when I saw that, I was just like, when the hell did Usopp do this, man? When did you do this? I don't know when, but this is pretty damn awesome. You see, he's got the oil right there. And, he's, and oh my God, I think what happened was, was that rope was already in, inside of that canister. And he tied it around uh, Karu at some point. And so when, you know, she started to start, take off running, it wraps the rope around the candle. This was really cool. This was really cool. I like this, man. It just shows that, you know, he's thinking a few steps ahead. Like, that's what I mean. Every person in this crew could be a leader of their own crew. And I want to backtrack because my dude, Sanji, like, dog, for real. You trying to be a playboy, man. That's an old ass term, but I feel like it fits because he's using an old ass tactic. You know, Sanji, you know, he's like, oh, they've been gone for a really long time. And I don't I don't exactly know where they are, but I'm going to go look for them. And he's thinking, oh, this is going to work because I could just say, OK, Nami, I love you. Vivi, I love you. Like, are you serious? Are you serious, dude? Like, that's just not going to work. And even if they were there, they're going to ask you, which one do you love more? Like, are you serious, man? You know, that's how a lot of dudes get trapped, man. They run the same lines on this, on different women. Women talk, dudes, like, <clears throat> for my 90 or 83% of you guys that are, are males, women talk. And so if you start using lines and stuff, they're going to tell their girlfriends, and chances are you're going to try and talk to one of them. Like, get the fuck out of here. Like, just be sincere, be original, ran over with. I'm not even going to go any further than that. It's corny, but it works. It's true. But... The other thing is, is I want to talk specifically about Mr. Three's suit and the fact that he took down a guy that uh, was worth 20 million berries in it, okay? That's the equivalent of, I think, taking down somebody like Arlong, right? Why the fuck are they bragging about a suit that took down 
a guy with 20 million berries and Luffy has 30. It shows that they're underestimating him. And that actually gets on my nerves because at this point Luffy showed you that his uncanny nature, it works. And hell, the fact when he just knocked you clean across the island, or I'm exaggerating, he knocked him pretty damn far, right? That's one of them Sakura Harno to Naruto punches where it's just like, BAM! Like, that's what that was, right? And so, at that point, you should have stopped underestimating them. So, it really, really got to me the fact that they're treating Luffy like he's fucking Yamcha. Like, well, I guess they're treating Luffy like he's Krillin. Because anybody who sees Yamcha, they just start laughing. At least with Krillin, they know, like, okay, I'm going to have to knock his ass a couple times before he's done. And... I, I just I, I just hated that aspect of it, and I think that's how Luffy's going to win. But I'm really interested because Sanji is in front of Mr. Three's uh, hideout, if you will, the little wax uh, building and all that. So I'm really interested to see where Oda's taking this. I'm kind of just going along for the ride now. I've kind of shut off the writer side of my brain because I'm enjoying this as a fan. You should be able to see it with a lot of these reviews because with a lot of them, I record them after reading and looking over notes. And you can see at certain points, different chapters have me really excited. The chapters this week all over the place and I love it man but my chapter question for you guys is going to be what were your thoughts about how Usopp planned his way to free Nami and the rest of them what were your thoughts man like like were you just as impressed as I was and if you weren't tell me why but man that's it for this chapter review if you liked anything I had to say as always comment rate subscribe share I'll greatly appreciate it that's it Thanks for watching Kryptonian saying, have an awesome day.